Now I'm going to show you how I've programmed my Spectrum DX7 to work with the aileron gyro in my Freewing F35. Uh, I went into the setup menu and then uh, selected the um, uh, reversing screen and I, you've noticed I've reversed the direction of channel 5 which is my gear switch. Uh, this is going to allow me to uh, turn the gyro on and off and then more importantly to be able to fine tune the, um, the sensitivity or the gain of the gyro from the transmitter. Now I go into the travel adjust menu and using the select key I'm going to move to the second page to the settings for the uh, gear channel which is my remote gain for the gyro. With the gear switch in the zero position which is going to be off for the gyro you'll notice that the arrow moves uh, up and I'm going to leave that set at positive 100 percent. This is going to turn the gyro off when I don't want it to, to be active while I'm flying. Usually I select this position uh, once I've uh, successfully launched the airplane and I'm up and cruising around but you can turn it on and off at will depending on uh, what response you want from the gyro. When the gyro is on currently you notice I have the um, uh, percentage set for 0%. I can vary this anywhere from 0% uh, to minus 100%. The larger the number, the more um, gain I'm going to get from the gyro, the more movement of the uh, tailorons uh, as the plane rolls. And uh, this is further adjusted by the gain switch on the gyro itself. And so you have to um, experiment uh, with the gain switch on the gyro and also setting the gain remotely from the transmitter. Uh, and what I've selected is about a 75% gain on the gyro itself. And then I'm going to vary the uh, amount of gain uh, from the transmitter uh, to fine tune uh, the flight performance from there. With the gear switch set in the zero or off position, you'll notice when I roll the aircraft, the gyro has no effect at all it's inactivated. When I activate the gyro with the gear switch now in the number one position and the um, travel adjust set for zero percent you'll notice that rolling the aircraft has a small effect on the tailoron movement. With the gear switch in the on or number one position I can use the adjust key to vary the percentage of um, gain in the gyro remotely. If I hit the increase, it will gradually uh, increase the percentage of sensitivity to the gyro. The maximum setting is 150%. Now that the uh, transmitter uh, gain is set to 150% for the gyro, you'll notice that rolling the plane has a much greater effect on the tailoron movement. The trick during flight testing is to find a nice balance between the uh, gyro holding the um, uh, roll of the airplane steady and not having it so sensitive that it induces a flutter in the control surface at higher speeds. My best advice is to with start with a low percentage and then gradually work up. And then if you uh, hit a setting where there's some induced uh, gyro flutter, uh, back off a few percent and that will usually be the best setting. Of course you also need to make sure that the gyro is telling the control surface to move in the correct direction. As I'm looking toward the back of the plane, if I roll this wing up, the tailoron should temporarily uh, also move up, and the back surface should move up, which in flight would uh, tend to force the wing back down or counteract the rolling motion. So for my initial flights, then I'm going to go ahead and decrease 
the sensitivity of the gyro back down pretty low, maybe 0 to 10% to start, and then I can always build up from there. You'll notice that the 0% setting, since I have the gyro uh, sensitivity on the gyro itself set up to about 3 quarters, the gyro, uh, in fact, uh, doesn't have zero sensitivity. It actually uh, still moves. And so the uh, transmitter setting gives you some fine tuning, but the uh, overall motion is set by the uh, gain potentiometer on the gyro itself.